my crafty friends, it's Andrea from Prairie Sky DIY, your friendly neighborhood Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Manitoba. Um, today we've got, could be a Valentine, could be an I love you card, could be a congratulations wedding card. Um, again, the possibilities are endless and you can switch it up by changing the stamp set, the punch, um, even the paper colors that you're using. So I'm using the double heart punch put this off to the side so that we can work. Um, happy labels. I'm using You Are My Happy Place today. We have got some strips of cardstock. I'm using Real Red, Pumpkin Pie, Crushed Curry, Garden Green, Orchid Oasis, which is one of the 2022-24 in colors. And there it is stuck behind the Rich Razzleberry. Now I've already cut these down. Um, they are five inches by a half inch. I've got a piece of just plain scrap white paper and a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of basic white. Oh my goodness. Now I am going to be working on this. Um, I decided I wanted to do a pride theme for this one. So I'm going to take it and I'm not going to be too terribly concerned about hitting the exact top of my cardstock. Oh, pumpkin pie is next because I am going to trim it to fit. And you want to butt it up right next to its neighbor. Crushed curry. I kept wanting to call this delightful. Um, yeah, delightful Dijon today. That hasn't been a current color for quite some time. Oh, and I think I... Oh, no, that's the right size. Looked a little short for a second. Uh, Garden Green is next. Now, I am doing an entire row or an entire strip of our tape just to make sure that when I go to use the punch, it's not going to do anything wonky. And nothing's going to come loose. Uh, Orchid Oasis is next. And then we're going to do our Rich Razzleberry. <clears throat> Actually. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I just had a quick tickle in my throat. Now, I do have an email address or an email list um, that I send out emails about once a week or so. Uh, that are filled with ideas and tips and tricks and all kinds of stuff. So if you would like to subscribe to that, I also have a tutorial for an exclusive card that uh, I haven't posted anywhere else. So if you'd like to get on that mailing list, check out the link down below. And when you register, I will send you that free tutorial. All right, so we're going to cut this to size now. Oh, something wasn't quite straight. That's all right. It's all good. Oh, I didn't start straight at the top. So we're just going to trim. That's the beauty of the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer, too. You can kind of see, well, you can see exactly where you are. Um, so when you need to just shave a tiny little bit off, you can do so quite easily. Now, every once in a while, I do like to take a piece of scrap paper or cardstock and clear out my cutting gutter, especially if I've just done what I did and cut some really tiny little pieces off. So quick and easy. It does get a little bit gummed up. Um, and every once in a while, I go over it, too, with some rubbing alcohol just to get any gunk off. All right, so there's our base. Now we're going to take our punch, and we're going to try to get it centered-ish. And then we're going to just punch out our heart. And then I decided that I kind of wanted to do a little bit of an angle 
with this one. something behind it. What does it need behind? Maybe? No, I don't think so. But I don't think white exactly works either. Um, no, we're not going to use one of those. You know what? We'll go with the navy. So we're going to angle it so that it is uh, one corner touches the fold, one corner touches the top, and then we're going to just run our adhesive all the way over, and then we're going to bling this up. going to do a little bit of extra around the heart. This is more adhesive than what I normally put on my cards, but I do want to make sure that nothing's going to go or slip under or behind. All right, so there's our card. I'm going to flip this over and trim. You could also just grab a pair of scissors. Oh, gotta go one more time. Especially if you're worried about um, cutting your card base. So we've got our heart. Now we're going to bling it up. Um, wink with Stella into the navy. Now with Wink with Stella, you want to store it brush side down so that it is always primed and ready to go. Whoops. Got a little bit outside of the heart. That's all right. I'll show you how to fix that too. Clearly, coloring inside of the lines is not my strength. All right, make sure that we got everything is blinged up. Now, Black back dots. Take your pick. Um, so I'm going to cover up my little oops there with just three little black dots. You could also use the white pearls or the uh, basic rhinestones. That would look really, really good as well. Um, now I have our cardstock here. I haven't stamped our sentiment yet. So we're going to do that, and then I'm going to show you a quick way to do um, a fun little banner on here. So, you are my happy place. Um, I'm going to stamp it a little bit closer to the center, straight up, straight down. And then I'm going to grab our punch again, and we're just going to go and feed it through this way so you want to aim hope you can see um right between the cutting edges be a little tricky so sometimes i like to put it in that way and then go down so we're going to line it up kind of centered and then just press down and then we're going to do the same on the other side. And then aim for centered-ish. Kind of looks like a whale tail. It's kind of cool actually. And then punch down. So now we've got a different looking banner. It's not quite centered, but that's all right. 
and then we're just going to place our sentiment right across the heart. So we're going to put one on that side, one on that side. And today we're going to get a two for one. Okay, you are my happy place. I really love how that turned out. All right, so that card is finished. We're going to move on to what we're going to do with our other heart. Now, the two banners um, or two stripes are missing. We're missing the red and we're missing the red, uh, rich raspberry. So what we're going to do for this one to complete it is put the two on top because I do want to keep that um, the pride flag theme going with this card. And we're going to do our basic white. Actually, no, I think we're going to do our navy again. Actually, we're going to use this. This is by the bay. So we're going to do four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, by the bay is a six by six sheet. Strips off. Oops. Or do we want the beachy side up? I think we'll go beachy side up. Although I do love the shimmer and shine on the other side. I like the subdued colors on the beachy side. Okay, so we're just gonna run little bit of adhesive on the top of the heart Oops. and a little on the bottom stick our red and our rich razzleberry down and then we're going to give it a bit of a trim Not quite to where the curve of the heart goes. Oops. Oh, that went wonky. There, that's better. Sorry, distracted by the dogs. Okay, and then we're going to give our heart a few runs of tape, get it stuck down, and then we're going to do our sentiment. Actually, you know what? I don't think I like that red in the burgundy there. So we're gonna change it up and grab this guy. So I've got the scalloped heart and we're just gonna punch one of each. We're gonna take a little bit of creative license on this one. And we'll do half burgundy Half red. The beauty of crafting is you can keep going until.
so you're happy with what you've got. And even when you've got it stuck down, you can still unstick it and make it what you want. All right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like this better. So we've got half red, half burgundy. Put the rest of our heart inside. And again, you can use any paper, any designer series paper um, or cardstock that you want with this because it's your creation. You need to love it. And we'll go back in with the dimensionals. I think I'm gonna do Winko Stella all over the inside of the heart for this one too. I'll just stick this down here. And I'll tell you, this is the best glitter, in my humble opinion. It stays contained and it does not go anywhere. Um, you can also, when it runs dry, fill it up with water and use it as a water brush. Or you can also um, add a few drops of reinker and make a colored glitter brush. There's a color that you go to a lot uh, for watercoloring, absolutely. I put this stuff on pretty much anything. I can't think of a card that hasn't gotten at least a touch of glitter. And if I don't do it on camera, sometimes I just add it later on. All right, so there's our heart, a little bit of sparkle and shine. We're gonna add our little black matte dots. This time we're gonna go up to the top. Now I am gonna add this to a card base um, because that's how it needs to be, but actually not necessarily. I've made cards um, just as a card front and then sent it as a postcard. So that's another quick, easy alternative that can be done with your crafting. Doesn't always have to be a folded card. It can totally be a postcard. And then we're gonna do, you are my happy place up at the top. Straight up, straight down. And two cards for the price of one. We used, punched out one and used it on a second card. So you can get a lot of mileage out of crafting if you use the negative and the positive um, when you're die cutting or punching as well. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your time. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and don't forget to sign up for my email. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.